Activity 2, Technology Enhanced Instruction. This is Ron Moore for Teach Now Assignment, Activity 2. The five questions that I propose to teachers are as follows. As a teacher, do you keep track of your screen time and your student's screen time? The first teacher indicated that they don't track their screen time well at all. They do as much as they need to on the computer to ensure their work is complete to the best of their abilities. They indicated that they try to maintain balance by taking breaks in their personal life, but there is no real set time limit for them. Teacher 2 indicated that they tracked how long they could stay engaged, their students, they can stay engaged with their iPads. So they wanted to use the iPad, the student wanted to use the iPad in order to have a turn, same as their other children. They tracked which students were consistently choosing that learning center. They found that some students were struggling with peer entry skills and were the same students who were consistently choosing to play on the iPad. That was counterproductive to the goal of the classroom and the teacher of supporting social and emotional learning in the early years. Teacher three indicated that yes and no, it depends on when students are completing their research and with an increased amount of information on the internet, they found that it was often easier for a student to try to find a way to manage information on their own. The second question that was posed to teachers was, how do you establish responsible use rules regarding technology? The first teacher indicated that they establish responsible use rules with basic ground rules through essential agreements in their classroom that they design with their students. They have predictable bottom lines and consequences for inappropriate use should they need to be enforced. Teacher 2 indicated they had a 10 minute timer that they used with young children. The students would write their name on a chart indicating they wanted to turn with one of the four iPads as part of one of the centers. When the timer went off, if there was another student's name on the chart, that child had to go find that student to let them know it was their turn. This helped for them to learn how to take turns and eliminated some of the waiting behavior. For the third teacher, this is established at the beginning of the school year through an essential agreement again. This also was reviewed throughout the year in case students feel that maybe the essential agreement is no longer valid. The third question proposed to teacher was, how do you learn about new technology and apps? The first teacher indicated that they teach themselves about most new apps and technology that they run into through their daily lives. They find that YouTube tutorials is often how they're introduced to new tech that is more interesting and ways to learn some of that new technology. Occasionally students will introduce that teacher to new technology and other teachers and administrators also play a role in finding out um, how to use technology. This teacher finds that they can often learn lots of new tech through the choice their students are making when they're completing some assignments. Teacher two, in the past, they waited until maybe the technology teacher did regular workshops uh, through the month or bi-weekly on new technology. Um, lately, that teacher has been taking more risks and learning from colleagues as they need to. And also they indicated that taking a Teach Now course has been fantastic in helping them develop new technology skills. Teacher three found that in their general interest and through other teachers, they find that they learn new technology and apps. They find Facebook and Pinterest share ideas from technology that are relevant for them. And they often students, again, will share apps and tech or new hacks if they believe it to be in their best interest. Question four indicated that how do you teach students to protect themselves online? For example, management of personal data, digital privacy and security. The first teacher indicated that they run or they present a unit in their homeroom and advisory that helps teach students to protect themselves online and their digital footprint and how they access and post when they post online. Teacher two indicated that we don't tend to teach that very much with the young children. However, they do talk to parents about what their children are seeing and playing online. They found that there is a correlation between students who play games or watch shows that have a simply good, bad conflict storyline. If those students are allowed endless access to that type of gaming for viewing, they found an increase in their rough play and a decrease in their ability to use their imagination in play scenarios in the early years. 
teacher three indicated that this was a difficult question for them. Um, fortunately, many students and children are generally helpful and trustworthy when it came to the internet um, and access to social media and so forth and technology. However, this needs to become a joint effort between family members and teachers working together. Question five for the teachers was, what is your personal learning goal for students in technology this school year? The first teacher indicated that they did not set themselves a personal learning goal for tech this year. However, technology is integrated in much of what they do on a regular basis. They constantly, this teacher constantly works to create a balance between tech news and other learning methods for their students that hopefully helps them also to adjust. Teacher two indicated that to use technology, they use this to document this, their own learning. And teacher three indicated that in order to create, they want to create a positive website to gather or to share information through an innovative platform that includes games, videos, music, podcasts, and etc. Greek six, our grade six lesson plan is on Greek gods that one of the teachers had shared. Uh, the research is into the hierarchy of the Greek gods, which is primordial, titans, and Olympians. So generally in groups or individually, um, you're to determine the use of how systems function by taking an active role in choosing and achieving, and then demonstrating how the hierarchy is established. You're to create a variety of resources using digital tools to show that knowledge with related supporting evidence. They're to use a method to convey and show an understanding which identifies Greek God hierarchy, communicate clearly, and express that through a variety of platforms, tools, styles, formats, and digital media, and then present the findings in a seven-minute presentation to the class. The IST standards for educators on the website is a good thing to look at to make sure that as teachers we're following what is expected in our technology teaching to students. The standards look at the learner, the leader, the citizen, the collaborator, the designer, the facilitator, and the analyst. The IST standards for students look at similar areas as for those educators, as educators. The empowered learner, the digital citizen, the knowledge constructor, the innovative designer, the computational thinker, the creative communicator, and the global collaborator. These are all important to ensure that all students are being good digital citizens. Analyzing this lesson plan, I feel that the lesson plan effectively challenges and uses technology for students as they are required to research and present a topic with clear guidelines. The expectations align with the IST standards for students and meet the necessary criteria as it is outlined. The teacher will have integrated technology through their research presentation, research and presentation requirements, and has been flexible in allowing individual group work <coughs> to occur. A checklist to guide technology for this lesson plan, students are to demonstrate competency in the areas below, maintain and track the amount of time to research the topic, source the information that they gather, identify who has taken on which role of working in the group and the amount of time taken to contribute and share to the group, consult with the teacher about a format of delivery to the class, and identify any challenges faced with technology that might require more effort than others.